Yeah, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is Taza Doc from GMS Los Angeles camp. I want to I want to say give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Wakakadash. Double honor to the apostles, the others of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation for the hopeful elect Akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right. Um, I had this letter, you know, from the um, from our work at and stuff at um UPS and stuff and um I had to print out the letter and um <clears throat> it's like it's like it's going for all management so I'm gonna read it to you. Alright, but let me um start with this scripture first, okay? Let me start with this scripture. Bear with me. Alright. Start with the scripture right here. This is um Second Corinthians two verse eleven. Lest Satan should gain an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And um, let me get that here real quick. Let's read it again. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And yeah, um, us brothers that's in the know, you know, Lord willing, we're the, Lord willing, we're the elect, we're those men. We know what um, so-called white man is doing, okay? We already know why he's pushed, he's using this vehicle called the COVID-19, the coronavirus, to um, instill his new world order. We know this, all right? Okay, we know brothers who who work on the trucking um industries or the 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 warehouses and everything. They're gonna remain open to um to to deliver goods, so called so called goods out there, in medical supplies and etc. All right, and stuff. We already know why we get we receive these letters. Why? Because there will be the military will be staged throughout the cities. Okay, we know this. All right, so we're not ignorant of the things that he's planting in, okay? We we in the know, okay? We watch, all right? So let me read this. this is um exemption of UPS as essential business, critical transportation sector, all right? Now, it says UPS recognized the authorities in certain geographies have ordered the restriction of certain work. We know this, okay? They shut down a lot of businesses, all right? Okay. However, you are exempt from these orders under the Office of Homeland Security. So basically, we already knew, okay, by them keeping the essential jobs open and everything. Why? Because they're under the federal government now. All right? Because the so-called white man is staging his military throughout the sectors of each city and everything to lock it down. Okay? That's why we receive these letters right here to keep in our, our wallet or keep in our car for now, this letter, until we get um some kind of ID for our car, stickers in our cars, where we can travel to go to work, all right? We already know what the so-called white man is doing. He's trying to instill his new world order. And in the same time, while the military is out there, people can't go to work, they staging these 5G networks. These 5G towers. Okay? This is the reason. All right? So, the, yeah. Is there a virus? Yeah, there is. Okay? But imagine yourself. You know how a cancer patient goes undergoes chemotherapy? And chemotherapy breaks down the wound, um, breaks down the immune system? Well, that's, that's what these 5G towers do. They break down the immune systems and you can get sick real easily by any type of like a common cold, bronchitis um congestion um and your and your body has a hard time of fighting it okay all right and, and what happens you lead to your death man why because those 5g towers is like they like standing chemotherapy towers man <laughs> 
So basically, they frying you like a chicken, man. That's what they're doing, okay? So we're not ignorant of his devices, man, all right? Because there's one thing they, go, they want. In order to install this 5G network, they're going to have to stake something, uh, a, a reason, all right? They use that vehicle called the COVID-19, all right? So let me read it. Due to the nature and critical needs of our service, UPS will continue its regular operation under this authority. Whose authority? Homeland Security, the federal government. Duh. Okay? Therefore, all UPS employees should continue to report to work at their regular scheduled time and location. All right, so please keep this letter with you for additional travel authorization. All right? So there you go, man. The stage is set for for the military, for the um for the um well what's a what's what's that force called? The uh, National Guard to be to be in place and the reserves to be in place to control these cities, man. Okay? Alright, so yeah, they now now the so called white man when people die of bronchitis, they're going to change it to COVID-19 to, you know, to expand the deaths, man. <laughs> man, this man is the devil for sure, man, for sure, okay? So let's get with another scripture real quick. Um, let me get Psalms. Bear with me. There we go. My notes here. <laughs> Psalms 2 verse 11. Psalms 2 verse 11. No, 21 verse. 21, 21, 21. Psalms 21 verse 11. All right. For they intended evil against thee, they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. And what's that device they want to um what's that device they want to, they want to use against us? They want to use that so-called coronavirus to what? To install what? To perform what? Their new world order, man. Okay? Alright? And guess what? They're not be they're not gonna be able to perform it. Why? Because the Lord the um the the, the Lord is gonna save the elect, man, out of this out of this thing, man. Okay, and guess what? The Lord is going to step on the foot of the necks of the wicked, man. All right? That's what's going to roll, man. All right, let's read it again. This is Psalms 21, verse 11. For they intended evil against thee. Yes, they are intending evil against who? The, um, the so-called New Latino Native Americans, man. All right, the Israelites. All right? Okay? They always intended evil against thee since, they, since ancient times. All right, this has been going on for so long, man. All right, they imagine a mischievous device, and they, yeah, and guess what? And they using it, man. Okay, they using us the COVID nineteen, the coronavirus, as a vehicle to install the new, to install the new world order. Can this be a test run? Maybe, maybe it could be a test run. And guess what? The people of America, the peons, the so called Americans. Okay. The so-called Americans out there, they falling, they falling for this, man. They are not ready, man. <laughs> they are not ready. They they gonna be in line for that for those vaccinations, man. And guess what? It's go you gonna have to take those vaccinations, man. All right. They go they go they gonna force it, man. All right. Okay. <laughs> For which they're not able to perform. Let's go to the next scripture real quick. This is Psalms 33, verse 10. All right, Psalm 33, verse 10. And you know, I'm just watching these people at work. They are scared, man. I mean, shook. Shook, man. And it's working. I can't, you know, like, man, you know, it's just, this is what happens when you're not, um, when you don't have the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? This is what happens when they only had the knowledge of the world, man. And guess what? They do, they that sheep <laughs> that goes to the slaughterhouse, man. They do anything what this government tells them to do, man. All right? 
And hey, the water, Yah Bashi Shai, for waking us up, waking us up to this word, man, to this knowledge, to keeping us stable and not to be a bug out like these um peon Americans out here, man. All right. Psalm 33, verse 10. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. So remember this, brothers. The Lord, in all caps, Yahweh, bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. Who's the counsel of the heathen? What you call the Illuminati, the elites. Okay? They the ones who stage this, man. Of they stage in everything. Why? Because they want to bring in that, they want to bring in their new world order, man. Okay? They want to get everybody chipped and dipped, just like Apostle Tar said. <laughs> they want to get everybody chipped and dipped. Okay? They want complete control, man. All right? Just like um, this new digital currency system. All right? They don't want nobody making any money um, behind closed doors, man. They want control of everything what you do. They want control of what you make. They want, control, they want to see everything what you make, what you spend. Okay? They basically playing, they basically saying that I'm God. That's saying you can find that in uh, Thessalonians, the second chapter, verse 4. All right? So let's read it again. Psalm 33, verse 10. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of people of none effect, man. Hey, man, it doesn't matter what device the so-called white man use against the people. It's not going to work on the elect. And first and foremost, the Most High is going to step in, man. Okay? So the, the, the council of the heathen is going to come to naught, man. It's not going to, he's not going to generate his new world order, man. Okay? He may think when, it, when, when, he, when he, he's satisfied and his belly's full, but guess what? Hell nah, man. It's not going to work, man, because this is the Lord's movie, man. This is his theatrics. All right? But prophecy needs to pass, brothers. So we got to be patient. Okay? We have to be patient. You know, keep doing the work of the Lord. Keep being brotherly. You know, take care of one another. And just be patient and just wait. All right? Let's get with the next scripture real quick. Psalm 64, verse 2. I know your brother know this one. All right? All right? Because this is what we all want, you know? When these evil times... And evil times are here, man. Okay? This is Psalm 64, verse 2. All right, let me get that for y'all, for y'all can read it too. All right, Psalm 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. What's the secret counsel? Like I said before, those are the elites, man. Of, 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 of Which elites? First and foremost, the so-called white man, Edom, Esau, all right, and the other nations, all right? Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Okay? Alright? These are these men, man. These are the ones that pull the strings of Donald Trump. They pull the strings of all these kings out here, man. Okay? These so-called um, leaders and these other nations. Alright? They pull the strings, man. These, these, these um, puppet leaders report to them. Report to their handlers. And their hands report to them, man. Okay? Alright? We want to be hid from this evil, man. That's why we out there teaching this word week in and week out, throughout the week. Even though we can't go out and we can't go out there and do the work, basically because <clears throat> because of because of the BS that that Esau the laws he put in, man. That um social distancing, man. Like this is full of shit, man. <laughs> this is full of shit, man. And guess what? People believe in that shit, man. People's actually believing that. Oh, you gotta stay six feet away from me. I don't want to stay. They, yo, these people, yo, Esau got these people good, man. They got our people good too, man. Really good. All right. Let's get with the next scripture. Um, we got Isaiah thirty-five. Isaiah thirty-five, verse four. Yep, this is good times, brothers. This is really good times right now, all right? Because, uh, hey, I don't, this is the scripture I want to, you know, for we because we know we're going to be hidden, Lord willing, where those men, the elect men, 
we will be hidden from the counsel of the wicked. All right. Here's a scripture right here. This is Isaiah 35 verse 4. Say to them that are that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance, even the power of a recompense. He will come and save you. And we got to believe that, brothers. We got to believe that. He will come and save us. Who? The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, is going to come save us, man. So be strong. Be of good courage. Remember that. Be strong and fear not. Okay? That's that, and that, and that's why I wanted to um, tell y'all brothers, man. All right? Because we have a job to do, man. Because we've been called, we've been called to do this work, man. Okay? We are watchmen. All right? We are watchmen. We're supposed to, what, warn our people for the upcoming dangers that's going to befall upon them, man. Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble is here, man. You see a lot of our, you see about a lot of people losing our, losing their jobs, you know, now, now they look at evil towards them. Hey, this is all through the scriptures, man. Okay? So let me read it again. Isaiah 35, verse 4. Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong and fear not. We're going to go through that anxiety. But guess what? We're planted in this word and we're established with this word in this truth and this knowledge. And guess what? Isaiah what Isaiah 33. It tells us knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability. Basically, we're stable in this word. All right, because we know what's going on. We have the playbook, brothers. All right, so we not we don't fear what the devices of the wicked is putting up, man. Because we know what they're doing. We have the playbook, brothers. All right, we're not we're not though we're not those mere mortals out there, man. Okay, say to them that are fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance, even power with a recompense. Recompense. He will come and save you. And, and hey, ain't no coincidence what you see all those big used chariots that's already approaching here. That's already here, man. Okay? They watching. All right? And don't forget that, man. He will come and save us. Yahweh Bajram Shah is going to come save us, man. All right? So, let me get this real quick. And then I could, um, I'm going to go to... Um, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Okay. Let me go to Psalm 94, verse 16. 94, verse 16. All right. Psalm 94, verse 16. Who will rise for, for, for me against the evildoers? Who's doing that? Us. We're doing that by constantly producing shows. Out there teaching in the street, street, street teaching. You know what I'm saying? We're constantly bringing up inf bringing information to the people, so-called Latino Native American, the Israelites, right? We give them, we give, we sound an alarm, we blowing the trumpet, and we bringing out information against who? Against the evildoers, man. Who's the evildoers? The so-called white man. All right. First and foremost, the so-called white man, Edom, Esau, and the other nations, man, the elites. So we're bringing up information against them, man, and what they're doing, all right? We've been doing this for years, man, okay? So we're rising up against the evildoers, man. And by, by, by me doing this video right now, I'm rising up against the evildoers. Any brothers that's doing their shows right now is rising up against the evildoers, all right? Psalm 94, verse 16, who will rise up against, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? We are, all right? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, man? Who's the workers of iniquity? The so-called white man. All right? He's the hammer of the earth, man. Okay? He runs this earth. What does it say in Job 9 and 24? The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right? Who's the wicked? The so-called white man. He runs this earth, man. You can't, mean, you can't be that stupid not to know this, man. All right? So by the letter I wrote, um, I read to y'all this, um, I got to carry as a badge because the, the federal government took over a lot of these companies. Okay. All right. That's why a lot of their CEOs stepped down because they want to cash out because they know shit's about to go down. Okay. All right. That's why Esau's placing his military in every sector of each city. And you're going to have this letter right here. 
you got to have this letter in order to travel. Okay? All right? This is just a letter form, but they guess what? They're going to give they go they go make new IDs, man. And it's going to come. I already know it's going to come. All right? You're going to have a stick in your car for the army can the military can recognize that you can have a you can pass through city to city. Okay? Let me get um second edge of the 16th chapter, okay? Um, let me start at verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. Reading the beginning of sorrows right now. You see a lot of people losing their jobs, all right? You see a lot of people, the unemployment rate is skyrocketing, man, okay? The, 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 um, the COVID-19, now, now you still see a lot of bodies drop, but, ba but, ba but they making up these numbers too, man. Okay, to keep what? People in fear, man. Okay? All right? It's going to be a famine too, man. It's, people don't have no work. They don't even have enough money to buy their goods, man. Okay? And guess what that's going to lead to? <laughs> Violence. Hello? Okay? That's why the military's coming here, man. All right? To throw your asses in them concentration camps too, man. And they see you outside, man. So they say, yeah... This is not really a lockdown and stuff because you still could get you still could get some stuff, you know you still you still could go to work and everything. No, nah, it is a lockdown, man. Okay. This is Pelican Bay over again, man. <laughs> See, it's an inside joke right there. All right. Verse eighteen: the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. Well, there's a lot of great mourning. A lot of people's dying all over the earth, man, because of this, man. Because of this so-called COVID-19, okay? Which the elites planted, all right? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings and beginning of famine. Um, Hey, word is, these supermarkets is running out of food, man. So those containers that deliver the food, the truck driver deliver the food, the, the, the containers are running on empty right now, okay? All right? Let's read it again. Um, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars. See, all this was going on is a big distraction. Okay, for what? For what's the real? Hey, these elites want to want to take Iran, man. All right, there will be a World War Three. There's a secret war going on right now, man. All right. Okay, so don't get caught up in that misdirection. We, we see what's going on. Yeah, there may be a virus here. We know about the 5G towers. We know about that. Okay? But that's how the elites work. They like to misdirect you. All right? They took the sports away. Now everybody's in fear, man. That bread and circus shit is gone and stuff, right? Another distraction for what's really going on. All right? Okay, Um, <clears throat> beginning of famine, great death, and beginning of wars... And the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What should I do when these evils shall come? And what we doing, wait, hey, we um out there pleading and um crying to the Lord right now, man. Complaining. You know, we want the kingdom, man. We want this place out of here. We want America to go down. Okay? Alright. Let's read. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish. And right now, our people are going through trials right now, man. Okay? A lot of them lost their jobs. A lot of them can't buy food. So they resort to what? Violence, man. Okay? It's going to happen. That's why the that's why United States stays in the military, man. Because there will be a famine in here, man. Okay? I don't know when, but it will happen. Okay? All right? Behold, famine and plague, the plague is what? That COVID-19. But guess what? There's another one. There's another plague that's coming out. That's already out there. It's going to soon follow after this. Okay? So so the Lord's <laughs> prophecy does not slack at all, man. All right? It's just like in Amos the 8th chapter, man. When people think they have, they have they can rest a little bit, they 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 get chased by an animal and they get and and um they they get away from that and they put their hand in the house on 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 the wall and they get bit by a serpent. So 
It doesn't matter. One after another is going to come, man. All right? Okay, here we go. Uh, let's read. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. It's sent from the Lord, man. Uh, he used the so-called white man to sword to do all this, man. In order what? To fulfill prophecy, man. All right? The so-called white man is putting all this out to what? To fulfill his new world order. He wants everybody chipped and dipped, man. Okay? What I mean by chipped and dipped? Meaning by the, meaning the, uh, the microchip. The mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, man. Okay? <clears throat> but for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness. Nor be always mindful of discourages. Yeah, people still think they're going to be in a good case, man. People still don't pay attention, man. They still want to rap. They still want to shuck and jive for the so-called white man, man. They're not taking this. They're not taking the Lord's scourges seriously, man. Okay? Behold, victuals shall be so good and cheap upon earth. Look at the gas prices is going down. All right? All right? And they shall think themselves to be in good case. See, hey, that's how the so-called white man work, man. He 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 puts you in a crisis, and then everything is going is starting to become normal. And that's when people think they they in good case. All right, we're good, man. You know, the government saves us. Trump saves us, so we're good, man. Nah, you're not good at all, man. Okay, <laughs> you're not good at all. And even then, shall evils grow upon the earth? Evils, plural. Is going to grow. Sword, famine, and great confusion. Are people in a state of confusion right now? The people in America, the American peons out here, is in a state of great confusion right now, man. A lot of them, a lot of them don't even want to follow the government. A lot of them, a lot of them wants to follow the government. So this that's a state of confusion, man. That's why it's called Babylon, man. B meaning Babel, confusion. All right? For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish, shall perish of famine. A lot of people are going to die of hunger, man. Okay? And the other that escape the hunger shall, shall the sword destroy, man. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what, what you escape. There's no escape of, 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 of Yahweh's wrath, man. Yahweh Bashmashah's wrath. There ain't no escape, man. All right? And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. There are going to be so many dead bodies out here, violence. There are going to be no time to mourn for these for the dead, man, at all. They're going to be out, laid out in the street, man. Okay? All right? And Lord willing, this happens, man. Lord willing. All right? Could this be a, a test run for, to at least to see how the people react? Yeah, it could be, man. It could be. But guess what? This is the beginning of sorrows, man, and the beginning of great mornings. All right? Man. <laughs> and the dead shall be cast out as dung. There shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. And, and how the earth is going to be wasted? Through what? Nuclear missiles, man. All right? How these cities going to be cast down? By nuclear fire, man. Because people tend to forget World War III is right on the cusp, okay? People forgot about the war, the um, the secret war that's going on between these powers, man, between these kings, so-called kings, all right? Because people got their attention towards this virus, man, okay? Hook, line, and sinker. These, these, these filthy-ass Americans, man, they have no idea what's coming to them, man. It's the new world order, man. Don't you know by them, you people out there, don't you know by you're not, they shutting down all these businesses and et cetera and everything. Um, they got you on, um, what's that, what's that, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, you you self-quarantine yourselves in your homes until they do that two-week quarantine. Don't you know in the same time, they build, they putting up new laws and and take away the laws from your so-called constitution. They taking they taking rights from you. <laughs> wow, man. Hey, y'all. 
man, the most I got you people in the bag, man. He using the so-called white man and doing it. Okay? Let's go to the next, all right? There should be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. Yeah, because um, the COVID-19 is causing a lot of cases, man. So these 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 farmers can't work. They don't. They you can't you can't truck them, right? You you can't do anything, man. All right. So what's that going to lead to? Famine. All right. That's going to lead to famine. So you know, I just want to. Um, <clears throat> I just want to, um, you know, good a quick lesson on that. Yeah, we're not ignorant of his devices. We know what the so-called white man is doing. We already know this, all right. That's why we have the playbook, this knowledge, to know what he's doing. Do we know everything what he's doing? No, but we see the play by play action. How we knew through the scriptures, man. Okay, that's how we knew. You know, so I hope your brothers were edified. You know, brothers who um. Who's working these um essential jobs, man? You know, Yahabash Mishah is protecting you brothers out there. Your brothers who are in the trucking industry, the, the Yahabash Mishah is protecting you brothers, man. All right? And Lord willing, you know, we'll be covered. We, we'll be covered through all these evils, man. All right? I pray for that. I pray for, I pray for brothers and their children to be covered from these evils that's coming. Okay? So your, I hope your brothers are edified. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rokakadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salvation for the whole flag Akim that's pushing this word. Shalom.